Hello, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to Foster Success. We have Angel Crone, who is Senior Director of Impact and Programs, and Travis Tester, Chief Development and Communications Officer. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. What is the mission and vision of Foster Success? Yeah, so Lisa, first and foremost, we just want to say thank you to Calvin Fletcher and Calvin Fletcher's foundation for selecting us. Um, this is a really important month for us because it's Foster Care Awareness Month. And so this is um, a great way for us to get the message out there about foster youth. But specifically with Foster Success, we support older foster youth. We are supporting those that are aging out of foster care. And Foster Success's mission is to hear, support, and empower teens and young adults transitioning out of foster care on their journey to self-sufficiency. Mm -hmm. um, at Foster Success, we really believe um, that all older foster youth in Indiana um, who have experienced foster care should be able to be self-sufficient by age 25. We don't want to have to have services and programs um, that are supporting these young people because our job is to put ourselves out of a job, right? Um, and so that's our goal every single day is supporting these teens and young adults who are transitioning out of care. Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you for that. And thank you for that work. So what do you dream of doing with the tips that you'll receive for the month? Yeah, we have we have the place it's going to. Um, so Foster Success does a lot of things to support our young people. But the good news about this um, is that the tips that we receive are going to go directly back to young people who've experienced foster care. Um, so we are putting this money into our basic needs program. And that program is designed, if, as it sounds, to support the basic needs of young people. So we know that our young people, when they're aging out of care, they don't always have that same support system that um, uh, a person who you know grew up in a typical family might have, right, to fall back on. So if they are going through a hard time, even something as small as a flat tire can set them back and put them at risk for things like homelessness, um, losing jobs. So we really try to be that safety net for them through the basic needs program. Um, we also know that they we ha we all have to have our basic needs met in order to become our best selves. Um, if people are familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, very common thing, um, and that's kind of what this program is is based on: is making sure that our young people have those basic needs met so that they can um, become their best selves and and really thrive in their lives. So that program provides up to $500 to young people to pay um, for an expense. Most of the time it's housing or transportation related. So the tips that we're getting from Calvin Fletcher's are gonna go directly to supporting young people. And it's most often, it's, it's most likely that that money is going to help prevent a young person from becoming homeless. Mm. Wow, thank you. So, uh... Is there anything else you'd like the community to know about your mission, um, anything upcoming? Feel free to share. Yeah, um, I feel like there's so much we want everyone to know, right? Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think the number one thing is when people are going to support such an amazing business like Calvin Pletcher, um, say hi to me. I'm always there on Fridays, usually working. Um, but when you're going to support a business like that and they're reinvesting dollars back into community, um, you are now, and these dollars for the month of May coming to foster success, those patrons are now becoming a support system for teens and young adults transitioning out of care. They are allowing us to bring them part as our family to actually help a young person not have to be on the streets or in their car. And that's really powerful. Um, something so simple as buying a coffee can help you do, help someone do that. So we want people to frequent Calvin Fletcher all the time, um, but especially in the month of May. Um, but the other thing that I want people to know is that we're statewide. 
So we are the only nonprofit that supports older foster youth in the way that we do with the programs that we do statewide. So we, our headquarters is here in Marion County. Um, we are downtown, um, but we have staff that are throughout the state. So we are we are working with older foster youth in this space all throughout the state of Indiana. And so mm. I think that's really important to know. The other thing is, is that um, we actually are having an event on May 9th, which is next Thursday. Um, and it is called Breaking Down Barriers with Basic Needs. So we actually do a an event um, where young people with lived experience will come to this event and they will actually lead the event. And it allows the guests to understand the barriers that they have faced when dealing with their own basic needs. And so that's how we approach this event. It is not your typical come and sit down for a gala or what have you. You're going to be up and moving at different stations and learning from young people. So that is at May 9th and people can get tickets at foster, fostersuccess.org. Um, it's right there on the main page. But, and then the final thing is on May 13th, AES um, downtown on the circle, the power and light, they will be doing a blue ribbon um, on the windows for foster care awareness month. And we would love for people to go and take photos of it and share it on their social media and tag foster success at with the at sign foster success. Wow, so much going on this month. Thank you for sharing not only how people can get involved, but just the impact uh, and the, the vision of what we're trying to accomplish uh, in and with the lives of these young people. So thank you for doing what you're doing in our community and in our state. It's a privilege to partner with you and thank you to the community for coming out to support. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, thank you both. Take care. Bye-bye.